everybody and welcome back to another video. So you read the title right. We have a lot of Wings of Fire news to cover in this video, but most notably, there's still a chance for the Wings of Fire show to come back. Stick around for the entire video because you're not going to want to miss what's in store for the series. During a recent event, Twee finally shared some light on the future of Wings of Fire, so we're going to have a lot to unpack in this video. Before we begin, a huge shout out to my patrons! Pizza Roblox Man, Dark Lover 95, Springtail Productions, and Three Moons. Thank you so much for supporting me. Links to their social medias are in the description down below. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. First off, we do have some bad news. The official guidebook has been pushed back to October 3rd, 2023. This is its fourth delay, which is a bit disappointing. However, we do have an explanation this time. The page count for the guidebook has increased from 226 pages to 240, meaning that new or updated content is the cause of the delay. Tui has also confirmed that a story written by King Ju will be included in the guidebook, and many fans have speculated that perhaps this could be her writing about how she was kidnapped by the Nightwings. We've never really gotten the full story, and it would be such a treat to see how things happened from her perspective. I'm just glad we got an explanation for the new release date for A Guide to the Dragon World. Not only with delays, we've usually been left in the dark, but it's good to know that it's still being worked on and that we're getting even more. Another huge piece of news is that an excerpt from the Moon Rising graphic novel was released. The excerpt features the first 20 pages, which includes the prophecy, prologue, and Moon first landing outside Jade Mountain Academy. It's really awesome, and I totally recommend checking it out. There's a link to the excerpt in the description, so feel free to give it a read. One thing I do really love is the artwork. My column has improved a lot since illustrating Arc 1, and it's great to see. Even though some moments in the story will be cut, I do always love seeing my favorite stories come to life. A lot of leaked images from the Moon Rising graphic novel have been circulating around the internet lately, but just to be safe, I'm not going to share any of them. I'd rather only post what's been officially shown, because leaking content is never okay. Our third piece of news is a big one. Tui has come out and said that she is actively looking for a new streaming service to put the Wings of Fire show on. Yes, you guys heard me right. There's still hope after the unfortunate Netflix cancellation. I'm sure we'll be left in the dark again for quite a while, but it's still nice to know that there's a good chance we'll actually be able to see the series come to life. Cross your fingers that there's a service that will take it in. And keep spreading the savings of fire tag. Be loud and let the studios know that they won't regret taking this up. And lastly, we're going to end the video off with this. For any, for any concern for the future of Wings of Fire, don't worry. Tui has said that we haven't seen the end of the series just yet. We've gotten pretty tired of people saying things like, so now that Wings of Fire has ended, when in reality, it hasn't. What Tui means by this, I'm not sure. She still doesn't know if she'll be making an arc 4 yet, but based off this promise, we'll still be receiving more content regardless. Whether it's in the form of winglets, more graphic novels, or other bonus content, I'm not sure. But don't think this is the end for the world we know and love. Wings of Fire is still here to stay. And when it's a tip of this video, what are you looking forward to the most? Let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!